Hey guys, today I'll show you how to create a great looking twilight photo. It's really easy and takes about 10 minutes or less. First, I need two photos, one a little overexposed and one underexposed. It's really easy to take them if you have, for example, a DJI Phantom drone. Okay, let's start editing the overexposed photo. I'll adjust the exposure and a little contrast. Highlights all the way down. Shadows to 50%. Add some whites and blacks. Add a little bit of clarity, but not too much. Add vibrance and saturation for the colors to pop up. It's starting to look good already. Now we need to correct the white balance. Take the eyedropper and find something that is white. This boat right here will be a great white sample. Now you can see how the white balance changed the feel of the photo. Looks pretty good. Now let's slide down to add some more color especially orange and yellow. You can add a little bit of sharpening, but we're not going to do that right now. Now this is a very important setting. Select to remove the chromatic aberration and enable profile correction. Select your drone manufacturer and model. You'll see how the photo changes immediately. Now it's time to pop the highlights and shadows a little more. Select the Dodge Adjustment Brush and brush over some lighter areas. Little here and a little here. Do the same with the Burn Brush especially around the horizon area, where it looks a little hazy. Now with the saturation brush, I'll add a little more color to a few areas, like here on the water. Okay, now it's time to edit the second picture. I could edit the second picture step by step like the first one, but it's much easier to just copy the settings. Just right click on the picture, select settings and copy settings. Don't select the local adjustments that would also copy all the brushes. Now paste them on the second picture and here we go. Really nice sky. Remember, we don't care about the bottom part of this image. We'll only use the sky. So let's tweak it a little more. I'll add a little more clarity to the sky. Just like that. Enough for now. Now I'll select both of the photos and open them in Photoshop as layers. Okay, you see that they're shot in different angles as the drone moved in the air. Let's align them. Set the opacity of the top layer to around 40 to 50% and correct the angle with the free transform tool.
Move the layer up a little. I have to rotate it a bit again. And now check how they align. Well, the top layer is a little off horizontally too. Let's fix that. Find some fixed point. I'll use the sun as a reference and align the top layer so they match. You can see that the bottom of the picture doesn't match, but don't worry about that. Now let's mask the top layer in. Use around 50% brush strength on the bottom of the sky and 100 on the top, and paint around the area. Just like this. That looks pretty cool. Now I have to trim the photo to hide the layer excess. I don't want this building and tree in the shot either. You see how misty it looks here, but I'll fix it. Let's save our work and jump to Lightroom again. It looks pretty good. I can get rid of the haze by using the Clarity or Dehaze brush. Doesn't matter which one in my opinion. Not too much. Around 30 is enough. Pop some shadows here and there. And use the dodge brush to make the houses in the front a little brighter. I think I'll dehaze the horizon a little more to get more contrast using the dehaze brush and another swipe, but not that strong. 10 is enough. I could play with it a little more. Add graduated filters and more, but this is enough to show you how easy and fast it is to create a simple twilight drone shot. Thanks for watching.